Now let's start with part B. So before we look at uh, part B in detail, uh, take note of the word hence. Yeah. When you see the word hence in your exam, uh, make sure that you use the answer that you just obtained in the previous part. It will be easier for you. Okay. So in many mathematics questions, they will tell you hence or otherwise. But hence means use the uh, answer that you obtained in your first part or the earlier part. Okay. In part B, we are going to integrate sine squared x with respect to x. And uh, in part A, we found that when you differentiate sine x cos x, okay, in part A, we found that when you differentiate sine x cos x, you will get 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Okay? So, when you differentiate this, you will get this. Okay? Let's make a couple of notes here to help us along. So when you differentiate sine x cos x, you will get 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So which means, if you integrate, okay, if you integrate 1 minus 2 sine squared x, you must get sine x cos x, okay. So let's write this. I would erase this in a minute, just to give you an idea. So differentiate sine x cos x, you get this, 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So when you integrate this, you must get back sine x cos x. Don't worry about the plus, you will write in the plus c in a minute, okay? So get the idea first. Differentiate this, get this. Integrate this, get this. That's the basic idea in uh, differential calculus anyway. Okay, now that we know that, we can write down our solution. So let me erase this, we don't need that. Okay. So, let's write down 1 minus 2 sine squared x dx must be must be equal to sine x cos x plus c. Again, okay? when you integrate 1 minus 2 sine squared x, you must get sine x cos x. Remember, this is indefinite integration. There are no limits. So, you must have a plus c. Now, we need to clean this up. Okay? So, we can write this integral as Okay, bring the dx inside here. Okay, so we can write it as dx minus 2 sine squared x dx equals sine x cos x plus c. Okay, we are bringing the dx inside. dx times 1 is dx. dx times 2 sine squared x is 2 sine squared x dx. So, this integral here, dx, will, when you have just dx, okay, the answer will just be x, okay, minus 2 sine squared x dx equals sine x cos x plus c, okay. The integral of dx, okay, the integral of dx is just x. This one I just taken out the 2 and written it as just the integral of sine squared x dx. And here, I've not done anything. Okay, now I'm going to write, just rearrange my answer as 2 sine squared x dx will be equals to x minus sine x cos x plus c. Okay? I'm just taking this 2 sine squared x dx to the right hand side and bringing everything else to the left. So I left 2 sine squared x dx will be equals to x minus sine x cos x plus c. Don't worry about the c, you don't have to write minus c because minus c is another constant, just leave it as plus c. Okay? So now let me erase this part so I can write it here. Okay? You can write it here. Okay. Let me write the whole thing here again. So I have 2 sine squared x dx equals x minus sine x cos x plus c, okay? Now, we are almost done. We are the last line. Just divide throughout by 2. I have sine squared x dx will be equals to, divide by 2, yeah? Divide throughout by 2. I'll have sine x cos x, the whole thing over 2, plus C. I will repeat, don't get worried about this C. When you take this C, it's a constant. 
When you divide by 2, you get another constant. If you don't like this C, you can replace it by an A. I'm just maintaining the constant C. So, that's it. Uh, we're done with the problem. Uh, I want to rewrite my answer as sine squared x dx will be equal to a half x minus a half sine x cos x plus c. You can leave your answer here. Okay, I just wanted to write my half differently. So I wrote half x minus a half sine x cos x plus c. And we're done.